Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Diana and I hope you're all okay. So let's get to it. My other passion that I like to do outside of my studio, which is more inside the house, is diamond painting. So I wanted to try one of their diamond paintings. Unfortunately, this is how it was shipped. Bent over, so I wasn't very happy about that. But hopefully I'll be able to rectify it. Um, like I say, it can fold it up, which I'm not happy about, but I'm hoping it will be okay. I can't find a way into the bag. There it is. So we'll do a, a quick look at the picture and see how it is and have a look at the, the drills. Like I say, very squashed this end is, so this I'm hoping it will come back nicely. Right, I'm not sure if you can see that. Hold it up there. That's the image. It's three cats like on a stained glass window, which I thought was really cool. And it looked really nice. So the canvas is not very thick. I'm going to have to be really careful when I'm cutting my uh, the top piece off when I'm doing the actual pieces, but I'm sure I can work with that. Um, the image looks nice. Um, let's see how that's coming across. Not easy to show this on here. But if I just keep moving this up, oops, not that way, silly. Get to see the picture kind of how it is. Um, seems a nice size canvas, nice, um, nice clear, um, what do they call them? Symbols and letters. There you go. Just even on that bit there. So they seem nice and clear, easy enough to read. Um, doesn't appear to be any similar numbers and letters or symbols that look the same, so that's good. Um, you get, I can't remember what this bit's called, but you get that on the top side and the bottom side. There are 48 colours altogether. Um, selection of letters, numbers and symbols but yeah that's it seems like a nice nice canvas like I say hopefully this section which has been folded over will flatten out once I've got a chance to lie it flat and put something on top of it for a while um, but anyway you always get toolkit with most diamond paintings, which are in this kit, you get a pen, single placer, uh, I think that's probably a free placer there, you get the little spongy bit for you, make the grip a bit better, you get a possible, not, uh, let's see, uh, possible 10 placer that is, uh, you get two chunks of the wax, you get a pair of tweezers, which I've just lost the end off, which was just to hold them together, but them are very flimsy tweezers. Not really much, not much use to those, to be fair. And the standard little boat, that's all you really need. I do have a few other different boats, but you can just start perfectly fine with this. It's what I started with when I first started doing it, so that's that. That's perfectly fine. Right, okay, let's... um. Move the picture out of the way a moment, the canvas. Now we'll have a quick look at the, the drills. Oh, we've got some AB. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's a few ABs. Um, looks like they all come individually bagged, which is nice. I personally prefer them when they're individually bagged like this, not in the long stripper that you have to cut them open. These work, these are much nicer for myself. Um, 
Oh, those ABs are really nice. How pretty those are. But like I say, it looks like there's quite a few ABs in here. But no, there does, doesn't seem to be any tr much trash in them. They seem nice drills. There's another AB. Mm, big black bag of black free tens. Everybody always has tons of these spares. Uh, black ABs as well. That's nice. Oh, those really are pretty ones. Um, Grey AB. Oh, I'm really looking forward to doing this one. Um, oh, more IVs there. Brown. Are these two of the same numbers? Yeah, two bags of the same there. Oh, no, they're not, sorry. They're very similar colour, but they're not the same. This is uh, AB898, and this is AB938. So, yeah, they are totally different colour. Um, but AB is all the same. Uh, slightly bigger bag of the blue and then lots of little small ones another ib there I'm trying to find the ab so i can see how many there are in the actual kit because it doesn't actually tell you i don't think i can't remember and there's another one that's quite a few ibs i'm really happy about this um there's another one Oh, that's a lot of neon colour. Look at that one. That's pretty. Uh, okay, there are a few with the one colour in them. There's a white one in there. I've seen a few others with a different colour in, but that's to be expected, to be fair. I don't mind that at all. I just pick them out as I'm going, and then there's a little blue one in the brown bag there. Like I say, I'll just pick them out as I go. Okay, so that seems to be all of the ABs. So let's see how many we get. Oh, that's a blue. Right, so we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten AB colours. I don't think I've ever had a canvas with that many ABs in it. Wow, that's cool. I like that. But yeah, the drills look nice. There doesn't seem to be, like I said, doesn't seem to be any trash in them. Uh, they all seem to be fairly flat on the back, which is ideal how you want them to be. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Anyway, so let's pop these all back in the bag. And I shall start work on the canvas later this afternoon, after I've started these. But just wanted to show you, I've got everything kitted up for diamond painting. And I rolled it onto a, it's like a pool noodle, but it came on another canvas I had previously. So it seems to have sorted out some of the wrinkles from where it was folded. But the true test will be when I actually start doing the, the diamond painting shortly. But what I'm going to quickly do is just do a quick stick test because I forgot to do that. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to unwrap this ready for starting and we'll check how the sticky is on the canvas. Okay, just do a quick test to see how sticky it is. Yep, that's quite, that feels like a good stick. So next up will be when it's completed. See you soon. Okay, another quick thing that I wanted to mention. If you was to do this diamond painting without a light pad, you'd probably might struggle because if I just bring this down here, it's showing a bit better because I've got it zoomed in. But if you was to do this, like if I put this back here, that's pretty much how I'd see it. it you'd struggle to see what numbers and patterns there are. But if I just quickly turn on the light pad, you can see how much more clearer they are so as it because of it's a quite dark picture i would definitely suggest using a light pad for this picture so okay i'm about to start so there we go okay i finished the picture um turned out really nice uh, i'll get a proper picture of it once i've um covered it with some 
of this stuff to secure the the drills as I've found because of where it was folded over in the post it's very creased and some of the drills keep popping off so I'm going to seal them so that they stay in place and then I'll get a proper picture um, lovely picture to work on really enjoyed it Oops, sorry. Um, here's the log of me how long it took to do so it took a total of 37 hours and 35 minutes um, highly recommend this this canvas again like I said it's definitely one you need to use a um, light pad with because really hard to see the numbers without it what it was for me anyway but besides that yeah um, really enjoyed the picture it's a beautiful picture it really is lovely and can't wait to have it hanging up on the wall but there we go there's oops that's just the noodle that i used to roll it off absolutely stunning so there we go thank you for watching um i'll add some stills at the end of it when it's all done and hanging on up so you can see it properly thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye thanks for watching bye